Hi, I'm James, one of the co-creators of SendMeHome.com. I'm going to give you a tour of our lost and found service, which helps you recover your personal belongings when you lose them. To get started, click the Create an Account link in the upper right. To protect your personal items from loss, we need to assign each item a short code called a Send Me Home ID. If your item came with a Send Me Home ID on it when you bought it, or if you have a label that has a Send Me Home ID printed on it, please enter it into this box on the Register an Item tab. However, if you're starting from scratch and you need a new Send Me Home ID, click the second radio button. Let's say I want to register my iPod. I can enter its name, a picture, and a short description. I can continue to register as many items as I'd like in the left-hand column. While in the right-hand column, you can see my iPod now has its new Send Me Home ID. We need to attach this ID to the iPod itself. I can do this by using a permanent marker, or I can follow these links to either print labels with my own printer using Send Me Home's free label templates, or I can buy high-quality, weatherproof labels from the store. And that's it. Click Finish Creating to complete the process. When you're finished registering your items, you'll automatically be taken to the My Items tab, where you can easily click on your item's name to view and edit its details. Now let's say disaster strikes. I'm walking in the park and my iPod falls out of my pocket. It contains my entire music collection and many sentimental pictures and videos. I can click Report Lost and enter a description of how, where, and when I lost the item. Once I click the Report Lost button, the item will now appear in the Items I've Lost panel. Anybody who finds my iPod and reads the label asking them to go to sendmehome.com will be able to enter the Send Me Home ID of my iPod on the home page. The finder will see a picture of my iPod, its description, and a reward if I chose to set one. These details are available because I reported my iPod as lost. If the finder located my iPod before I had reported it lost, they would still be able to send me a message but they would not be able to see my item's details. Any message they send me will now be forwarded to my email address. I will now be notified by email that someone has sent me a message. For privacy and security reasons, we don't give out email addresses, but I can easily communicate with the finder via the Messages tab and disclose contact information when I would like to. Once I've got my iPod back, the last step in the process is to head to the My Items tab and report that my item has been found. This has been a tour of Send Me Home's Lost and Found service. Make sure to register your valuables as you never know when you could lose them. Also, be sure to watch our next video, which explains how you can send your items on an adventure.